All right, I'm here with Tommy, also in the backstage of the surf ballroom, and uh, he's walking outside for some reason. There he goes. It's hot in here. I had to go out and get cooled off. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Good. It's good to be in Clear Lake, isn't it? As it is. You it know is. what's really good? It's good for me to be on this side of the ground. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Will you tell us the story of uh, the, the coin toss, toss again? The coin toss? It happened right in that doorway right over there. Right. I went upstairs checking the stage, see if there's anything left, and uh, Richie was standing there and he said, you're going to let me fly, and I pulled out a 50 cent piece and flipped it. And uh, he called the heads, so I went back out to the station wagon and told Buddy that Richie would be fine in my place if we'd tossed a coin and he won. And uh, if he would get my shirts done, I had some little bag of shirts. Right. And, uh, so he was he was signing autographs over there in that doorway, right? right? Yeah, right there. And you were already in the vehicle. Yeah, I'd already put my little bag in there with my dirty lawn behind. Wow. But he said, go check, make sure we got everything loaded. Yeah. So. In, in, in the movies, they get it all wrong, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. They have Waylon fl flipping the coin. And... Well, they had Buddy flipping it in the Bamba. Yeah. Does that annoy you? You know, uh, yeah, kind of, because they sent me a script before and I signed off on it where they used my name. Then yeah. They, they came up with a weird ending. Right, but you signed off before you even saw that. Right. right. Well, I, I do think it's important for his history to be told correctly. Yeah, well... Unless it makes you look bad. I've got it in my book that we got one of these days. I just... <laughs> <clears throat> now, uh, what, what, um, what, what is something that really bugs you about the, the, when you watch the movies and, and you see Buddy depicted in the movies? Oh, man, you know, that's just so, so far, so the movie is completely wrong. Yeah. They should, they should do a good movie about Buddy Holly. Is there, a good, a, good is there a good movie or is there a good documentary that you think is... A good documentary. Which one would that be? The one Paul McCartney did. Right. That was, that was pretty good. That was the real Buddy Holly story, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. What, what, um... <clears throat> for instance, in the Buddy Holly story, you know, they have him throwing a fit in, uh, in the studio in Nashville. Yeah. How, uh... How different was that from oh, what reality? He, he wouldn't have done that, you know. That wasn't, that wasn't Buddy Holly. Yeah. He wouldn't have done that. I mean, that's what my dad says. He well, just you said, know, you know. Buddy Holly was just all Owen Bradley's a giant. He wouldn't be talking back to Owen Bradley. Right. You know. Yeah. He'd have carried him, shook him, said, sit down, boy, and shut up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, it's for the movies. Yeah. Does this make you nervous? Yeah. Makes me nervous. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. We got the show to do tonight. 